it's over. I'm over it. I'm very annoyed. Um, what I'm talking about right now is YouTube and, and making videos. Now, I don't want to seem ungrateful or like I don't appreciate what I have or that I'm not super thankful for everyone who watches and supports me. Uh, I, I'm just kind of feeling a little bit down lately with, with my channel and with YouTube as a whole because I feel like they keep implementing things that kind of knock me down and knock others like me down. And I'm gonna get into the specifics because more and more information about this keeps coming out and finally I feel like I'm pushed to a point where I have to make a video on it. Um, they have been uh, essentially unsubscribing people from channels that are controversial. Um, YouTube Agegate was trending a little while ago and that was basically a thing that was discovered by accident because there was an event known as PAX where, um, you know, after these events there are these creator after parties. I've gone to several of them. Uh, actually, one of the after parties at an event called Playlist Live, I posted a photo with Richie and my friend Matt that caused a ton of drama with Onision, but I, uh, you know, I go to these events and I go to these after parties and there are representatives from YouTube at these parties and apparently what happened is one time there was a representative there and they got a little drunk and they divulged to a creator that uh, YouTube has implemented a program where if your channel is rated as mature or even like uh, PG-13, I'm not exactly sure how the rating system works, but if you fall underneath the age requirement for a certain channel's assigned rating, which by the way they have not been transparent about, you get automatically unsubscribed. Little by little, every day, people are being unsubscribed that are below that age bracket. Now people have been noticing this going on for a long time. Creators have been complaining for a long time about noticing that they're losing subscribers, but YouTube never was transparent about why or how this was happening. And that was very depressing when I found out about that. I think Keemstar made a video about this and he used Leafy as an example where he has been losing a ton of subscribers after this program was implemented on his channel. Uh, so it's just making it very difficult for, for people who are controversial and I've noticed all creators that are like me across the board have been losing subscribers if they are controversial. Uh, and another thing that just happened and that's what triggered this video is YouTube creators uh, just posted a tweet addressing something that people have been trying to tell me about for a long time. That there is now this restricted mode on YouTube where it filters out what they refer to as mature content. Well, people have been tweeting me about this and apparently my entire fucking channel is mature content. Literally none of my videos show up. And if someone wanted to search my channel in this restricted mode, it wouldn't come up. And I know that this is, uh, you know, pretty across the board, like a lot of people are being filtered out about this. Uh, but what I'm noticing very specifically is they are targeting people who talk about things that, honestly, I think younger people need to hear about. LGBT issues, they need to hear about that. Depression, how to overcome depression, how to overcome anxiety how to overcome different mental illnesses, how to handle eating disorders, all of these things are being filtered out by YouTube and it's making it very difficult for people like me who talk about these things, who try to, you know, do something with their channel that helps people. It makes it very difficult for people like me to actually continue doing what I'm doing. It, it totally caters to fluff. Now let me just go ahead and read you this. Uh, a message to our community. This, this whole thing pisses me off so much. We are so proud to represent LGBTQ plus voices on our platform. They're a key part of what YouTube is all about. The intention of restricted mode is to filter out mature content for the tiny subset of users who want a more limited experience. LGBTQ plus videos are available in restricted mode, but videos that discuss more sensitive issues may not be. We regret any confusion this has caused and are looking into your concerns. We appreciate your feedback and passion for making YouTube such an inclusive, diverse, and vibrant community. I, I'm sorry, but I, I don't feel good about that tweet. I feel like it's kind of bullshit. If you really cared about the diversity of the YouTube community, you would not implement a program that does something that casts such a broad blanket over so many different people. They're blocking anything with any hint of, of LGBTQ plus content, even makeup tutorials of people who are transgender. 
they can't even post videos. I saw Hank Green tweet, step one, agree that there's a problem. Step two, suspend the program. Step three, thank creators for discovering this problem. And it kind of concerns me as, as what do they necessarily label as sensitive content? I mean, that could be literally anything. If makeup tutorials are getting banned, of course, everything that I post on my channel is going to get banned. And apparently someone said the only way to get around this, the only way to avoid being unsubscribed is to click the little bell button next to the subscribe button. So if you guys want to click that for me, that would be great. If there are YouTubers out there that are LGBT or if they're just outspoken on issues like feminism or atheism or spirituality to any degree or eating disorders or any type of depression or anxiety, click the bell next to their name. Otherwise, you're not going to get their content because YouTube is actively censoring people who talk about things that, in my opinion, really matter. I just kind of got to a point where I was really frustrated and I just feel done. I'm over it. Like, this is, this is something that I feel so passionately about and I, I feel scared, honestly, to post videos that are, are sensitive. Sensitive anymore. What can I even talk? Like, I can't. I can just do stupid challenges and make up maybe music, covers, I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments section below. I have a lot of cute, funny video ideas that are still on topic with my channel that I plan on doing in the future, but this to me is just really depressing. And, and seeing this post uh, of them saying that they care about the diversity just made me feel almost kind of sick. I'm like, really? I haven't felt like they've cared about diversity in such a long time. Anytime I ever go to uh, a meeting that's not directly with YouTube, that's with my network or with someone who wants to be a manager or someone who's trying to help me with my channel, they always tell me 100% of the time, Jacqueline, you need to not make videos about atheism. Jacqueline, you need to not make videos railing on a politician that you don't agree with. Jacqueline, you need to not make videos that are controversial at all. Don't stand up for, you know, people who have depression because YouTube has been flagging videos that have to do with depression and anxiety. If, you, if I go through my channel and I look at the videos that I posted, YouTube is demonetizing any video that talks about depression, any video that talks about anxiety, and yeah, I can still post about these videos, but of course it's discouraging to people to post videos if they know as their career you cannot make money and YouTube will not promote and will actively prevent people from seeing videos that talk about these things. I also recently posted a video um, on Eugenia Cooney where it's not even anorexia is not mentioned in the title anywhere and they still demonetize that video. I posted a video jokingly eating a sandwich because people told me that I looked too thin and that I was anorexic. Anorexia, or uh, I'm anorexic question mark was in the title of that video, but still because of that, that was enough. I literally just sit there and eat a sandwich, but that was enough to trigger YouTube to be like, nope, this video is gonna be demonetized and people aren't gonna get to see it as readily. I, I don't know, I'm just at a point where I'm very frustrated. I'm feeling very discouraged in like, all areas of my channel. I, I've been on YouTube, I feel like, long enough to understand that it waxes and wanes. There are things that happen that discourage people. You know, there are certain times where it's tough, uh, the algorithm changes, or something happens that makes people feel like, you know, their videos just aren't doing as well, like the sub button's not working, or the sub boxes aren't working, or there's always something, right? And, and I've been around long enough to realize that these things pass, I'll be fine, I'll just keep doing it. Um, but at this point, I, I don't know that it's ever been this bad. And um, actively censoring people who talk about things that uh, are, quote, sensitive, that scares the shit out of me. And I don't know how channels like mine can necessarily survive or recover or grow. Like, if you are subscribed to anybody, anybody at all who is controversial, make sure you're subscribed to them, double check. Um, go out of your way to like their videos because that will tell YouTube that this is good content. Um, make sure you click the bell for everyone that you're supporting and, you know, stay vigilant on this because it's something that uh, I feel like could ruin, could ruin uh, free speech almost on the internet, which that's just really sad. I don't know. I'm, I'm done. At this point, I'm rambling. I'm done. I'm going to stop talking. I just wanted to bring this to light because I don't know if people are aware uh, at how YouTube is targeting certain people and how sad that is. Uh, so, yeah, uh, next video is gonna be funny. The next couple of videos are great. So just, you know, this is just one video of me venting a little bit. I've been bottling this up for a long time. So 
Thanks for putting up with me. Thanks for the support that you've been giving me throughout the years. I appreciate it. Uh, and I will, I will still be here. Just maybe not as visible. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.